So today's video is going to be a summer clothing haul. I did one of these a while back or last summer and that is like one of the most popular videos on my channel and I do go shopping like every year around summertime for new cute summer clothes and some of these are very affordable actually most of them are very inexpensive and um, this is going to be a try on haul so I'm going to be trying on everything that I got and showing you guys an I'm actually going to start off with the top that I'm wearing because this is part of the haul. Most of these clothes are from Romwe. If you don't know what Romwe is, it's like this online shopping website for clothes. Not just clothes though, they have like a whole bunch of other things like jewelry, they have things for your home like pillows. They have an assortment of things but their main line is like clothes. This video is not sponsored by them or anything, like I'm not being paid to talk about their products. But um... This is the first shirt. This is kind of like one of those lace camis. And it does zipper in the back. I really love it. And everything that I ordered fits honestly so perfect. I don't really go online shopping at all. So I don't really know like what my sizes would be. Especially from a website like this. Like this isn't like one of the best clothing websites. But it's super affordable. So I never bought from them before. So I don't know like what sizes I would be. So I just went for like extra small and small and everything. Just because um, I don't want it to be too big. And I like the cropped feeling. And I like shirts tight. And most of these are meant to be crop tops as it is. So some of them did turn out a little bit smaller than I wanted. But um, they still fit and look fine. This is a lace cami. I'm going to look up all the prices for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm not going to show a try on clip of this just because I'm wearing it. Right now, this is what it looks like. It does fit tight and snug, and it just has a zipper around the back. And everyone was reviewing this as see-through, and this is not see-through. It has, like, a double layer under the lace. Also, I'm going to be linking all the shirts or, like, pants or all the clothing items that I bought today. I'm going to be linking them all down below so you guys can find them and know the price and um basically just where i got it from most like 80 percent of these clothes are from romwe the next clothing item is this checkered you guys probably seen this in my last video i did a get ready with me for dorney park and i wore this to dorney and um i had two separate orders of clothes come in because i ordered one order of a whole bunch of clothes and then i realized that there were some clothes that i wanted that i didn't put on that order so i have two separate orders so this some clothes came before others, and that's why I had this one um, the day that I wore it to Dorney. So, so you might have seen it in my closet tour. You might not have. But um, this is the other one. This is like a cropped hoodie, and it has checkers down the side. It's kind of like a Van-styled um, cropped hoodie, and I really love how it fits. You can wear this with jeans. Any and I also think it looks really cute with leggings, and I just think it's very universal. And as you can see, the fit is very nice. That was product number two. Product number three is actually a dress. I was kind of skeptical about ordering dresses from this website just because they looked very short on the models. Since I'm I'm not really tall, but I'm not like short either. I'm like the average height. I'm 5'4", and I thought if I would go for like a smaller size so it could fit tightly around here and so it could flow out nicely, I thought it would be too short because I didn't want a baggy dress up here. It's supposed to be like a halter top, so it's supposed to be tight around the top area and then flow out to a nice dress as you can see in this try on clip right now it does fit like perfectly right above the knees it's not too short it's not too long even in the back it fits perfectly and i just love how it fits up top and how it flows out and it is a perfect length for me this was definitely one of my favorite products because i don't wear dresses that often and i love just plain cute halter dresses like this for product number four this is a, I don't even know what we would call this, it's not like a, it's like a cropped t-shirt with a tie in the front.
The next item is another t-shirt. This is a camo shirt. You guys know I love anything and everything camo. This is one of those distressed tees. So it basically has like holes in them that are obviously supposed to be there. And the material, the material of this clothing item, it feels like it feels very cheap. That's like the only way I can explain it. Most of the rips are in the back, which I thought from the picture online that these rips right here would be in the front, but it's not there in the back and there's only like one main rip in the front. Then the next one, this is a muscle hoodie, cropped hoodie. I don't really know what you call this. I love these style hoodies and I never had one and I always wanted one and it's kind of like cropped and it has no sleeves, but it's a hoodie at the same time. Like, it's hard to explain. But I think this looks so adorable. I can't really see this going with jeans. I forget what product number we're on. This is a definitely way too short um, tank top. I thought this would be a little bit longer in the picture. And it wasn't. And... Uh, it's super short as you can tell. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I would never wear this by itself even like in the summer I feel like I would have to wear something over it just because like wearing something this scandalous isn't me So here's the try on clip now you can see what I mean by scandalous. It definitely fits very tight and very very short and I don't know and it doesn't really fit me good so this next one is a very odd pick for me just because I don't have anything yellow in my closet whatsoever. Yellow is one of those colors that it, some days it looks really good on me. Some days I can never even go out of the house wearing anything yellow. And this top is like a ribbed kind of like top. It's very stretchy material as you can see. And it's a not a v-neck but it's like a scooped neck. And it's not a crop, but it kind of fits like a crop on me, and it's not supposed to be. So I probably should have gotten a bigger size, but if I would have gotten a bigger size, then it would have been too baggy. So I don't know how that would have worked. But um, I only got a yellow shirt because, one, I only wanted it for camo jeans, which I never got camo jeans in the end. So um, I ended up pairing this with camo leggings, but I am going to get camo jeans in the future, so maybe it would look better then. But, um, yeah, you guys can see the fit and how it looks on me. Um, this next top is, all of these are mainly tops, but, um, I really loved, like, their selection of clothing. Like, I love, I love the style that the website put out. This is just a plain red and white striped cropped tee. I got lots of cropped tees, didn't I? Yeah. This is the try-on clip. I feel like this would look super, super cute with white jeans or anything really white if you have like white shorts or anything like that and i love the fit i wish it was a little bit tighter though but this is the smallest size that they had so um yeah next item i wish was a little bit tighter as well i feel like i'm my waist is super tiny so if i want a tight shirt to be really tight fit i have to get like an extra extra small and websites usually don't have those sizes so I can really never wear tight, tight shirts. Even this cami is like still not as tight as I would want it to be. But um, I mean, that's just my size. If you're like a normal sized person, this would probably fit you better than it fits me. But this next t-shirt is probably like, I didn't even realize. And then when I got it in the mail, I was like, oh, this really looks like a Tommy Hilfiger ripoff. is isn't meant to be Tommy Hilfiger though. It's just the design, it's kind of like a ripoff of it, but I didn't even buy it like wanting it to be Tommy Hilfiger. Just kind of worked out that way. In the try-on clip, you can see it is more on the baggy side on me, and I feel like I would only wear this with white pants. Next, you guys probably peeped this on my Instagram by now, but I posted a picture with jeans and this cropped white hoodie on this hoodie is probably one of my favorite buys from this website i love how this looks i love the fit i love the length i love everything about it um i i wouldn't change one thing about it and they also have a black version where like the hoodie is black and the stripes are reversed so the bigger stripes would be black like right here and the smaller stripes would be white with a black hoodie and i got the white version because i liked 
I like lighter colors better than darker colors. Here's the try-on clip now if you didn't already see my Instagram post. Um, the fit is pretty, like, standard of how, like, the cropness is and how it looks. I feel like you would have to wear high-waisted jeans with this, though, unless if you really do like that super, super cropped look. But since it is super, super cropped, um, either go high-waisted or a bigger size if you don't want that much of, like, your stomach showing. So now I'm going to move on to my shoes. I got a pair of Nikes and a pair of Converse. I got a pair of Nike Tangents and I did have a pair of all white Rochers and you guys might have seen them before if you follow my Instagram or my Snapchat. I wear them like every day and they were so dirty. I had them like for like two years and I wore them like every single day of my life. I made a pair of new white shoes and I didn't, since I already had a pair of, of white Rochers before, I wanted something different and these are kind of like the Rochers. This is what they look like. They're just standard white shoes. These are a little bit cheaper than the Rochers, but I think it's only by like $10 or $15. Um, and if I got these instead of Rochers, I could also get another pair of shoes 50% off. So I did that, and I also went to Foot Locker, and I was looking at all white Hiraches, but they didn't have them in my size, so I decided to go to a different store where I found these. And if I bought two pairs of shoes, I would get the second one 50% off. So that's where my Converse come in. These are the classics. I always wanted a pair of white high top Converse. So these are 50% off. I think these were original 60. So these were only $30 since I got the Nikes. And um, yeah, there's nothing special about these. Just plain white um, all star Converse. And I picked up this really cute hoodie. This hoodie is a white and gray hoodie and it has the pink logo on the side here. I love how white colors look on me just because of my hair color blonde. And this was in a size small, extra small. It was the last one they had and it was only $20 and it was original $55. So their semi-annual sale really came in clutch and I don't know how much this would be off. Probably like, hold on, from 55 that's probably like 60% off I don't know I'm not good at math here's the try on clip it's super super warm it is long sleeves it's like a sweatshirt only it's cropped and you guys know I loved everything cropped so I love this and it's so warm and it's just everything in a hoodie that you could want that was it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below which sneakers are your dream sneakers? I'm pretty sure I asked that question in my last video. Uh, I don't know. But just comment it anyway because I, I want to know. I'm curious. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I do hauls pretty oftenly. Whenever I get new stuff, I definitely make sure to film a haul for you guys. And also make sure to follow my social medias. All links down below. On my Snapchat, I do like kind of vlogs. Like I show you guys when I'm at a store and if I should get it. And I let you guys vote when or if I should get things when I'm at a store and I can't decide and it's just like vlogs in real time so you should definitely go follow my snapchat as well as my instagram I post polls on my instagram story all the time of if I should film and what I should film so if you guys want to say and what my next video should be definitely be sure to check out my instagram I do polls all the time and you guys can vote what my next video is gonna be thank you so much for watching and bye guys Thousand in Japan.